has accepted a scholarship to play basketball for Kent State next season. The first athlete with autism to sign a national letter of intent to play a Division I sport. Kalen joined us to talk about his journey, which is just beginning. Let's welcome in one of the newest members of the Kent State Golden Flashes, Kalen Bennett. Kalen, congratulations to you. Great to have you with us today. Thank you. Great to meet you, man. So, Kalen, I have to ask you, what was that moment like when you decided, I'm going to Kent State? Well, before then, I had other offers and other people looking at me. But when I went to Kent State, it was nothing but a home foundation for me. They had a lot of opportunities that opened up for me. Uh, I knew I was going to get basketball-wise, uh, you know, inside-out basketball. Uh, also, the people were great. Campus was amazing. It's just, it was just a great feeling. Now, Kaylin, your story is amazing. You were diagnosed with autism. And from a very young age, a therapist wrote that you may not ever walk, you may not ever talk. You actually saw that diagnosis. Tell us about when you saw that and what that was like for you, how that affected you. Uh, when I first discovered about it and when my mom told me about it, I was kind of mad, but I was really happy at the same time because I figured out like what I really overcame and how much work I actually put in without knowing it. So like when I found out what the doctor said to me, I was just, I cried, but I was like really happy because it was just, it was just an amazing feeling to know that I did so much in a long period of time and how much I've grown since then. Now, let me ask you that, that therapist, you stayed in contact with them. I understand that she was at your graduation. Uh, what did you say to her? How did you remain in contact? Uh, my mom told me like, I didn't even really remember for a long period of time, but my mom told me that I just told her that like you don't really, don't really need to tell anybody else that because you don't want to like ruin their lives or anything. Mm -hmm. But then my graduation, that was a day that they told me I would never get. That was a day they said I would never like really have. And to be able to walk across that stage to get my diploma, it was a, it was a great feeling. It seems like you've heard that word before in your life, that word never, or you're not going to do. What, how do you deal with hearing that? And what is it about you that is able to hear those words and yet still achieve, no matter how old you were? The word never is a word that's always broken, if I would say. Because when somebody usually tells, some, tells me or tells somebody else, you can never do this, we go out there and work hard to prove that we can. See, over my life, I've proven that I can do this and do anything I can put my mind to because nothing's really impossible when you put your mind into it. So when people tell me I can never do anything, I just, just try my best to go out there and prove them wrong. Now, let me ask you about Kent State coming up. You're about to go off to college. Hey, that's tough for anybody. It was tough for me initially. Uh, what challenges do you think you'll face in going to Kent State? Um... I mean, there's definitely going to be challenges there, but being able to just just grow up, keep being me, um, just keep God first and just mm -hmm. keep doing what I'm doing. I mean, like, there's going to be challenges on and off the court. That's part of life. That's part of college. But for me, it's just keep my head on straight and keep doing what I'm doing. How important is your mother in your life in terms of providing support and helping you reach your dreams? I mean, first of all, my mom has made a lot of sacrifices for me. Um, she probably don't know this, but she operates with one lung. So her going out and doing all this stuff for me has been a big sacrifice for her, her and myself. She does things that I've never thought that she would do. Like she just she just go out her way to help others, and that's where I get that. Uh, that's how I get my personality from being able to just love on others and being able to just keep doing what we're doing. But she has made so many sacrifices, I, I don't even know how to repay. Even if, I, even if all my dreams come true, she's been that main motivator. Her and, my, her and my dad just keep doing what they're doing, so. You know, I imagine there are people looking at you right now and saying, you know what, I, I have a tough road, but I wanna be able to achieve what he's achieved. What do you say to others out there, and especially others who might have autism, who about how important it is and how what you did to reach your goals. Never let anybody tell you what you can't do. Uh, only person who can tell you what you can or cannot do or the only person who decides what our future holds is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And just just keep pushing, 
don't, just keep pushing, never give up. What's the most important thing for you to do going forward, do you think? Just to keep pushing, keep doing what I'm doing. I mean, I never, never look down, just keep my head up every single time because it's gonna, there's going to be challenges and there's going to be adversity. So I just, I just got to keep doing what I'm doing and keep listening to my coaches, keep, um, keep getting advice from my teammates and keep being the Caleb Bear that I am now. Last question for you, my friend. Where do you see yourself in five years? NBA or overseas, just playing basketball. Farther than that, helping kids out, just being able to be a motivator and a role model for other people. Well, I have no doubt you can do whatever you put your mind to. Kaylin, so good to meet you, and please keep in touch with us. We want to see how it's going there at Kent State. We'll be following you closely, my friend. Yes, sir. Thank you. We'll be right back.